Hi everyone, this is Heather Hope and welcome back. Okay, so I think today I want to talk about getting strong with your mind because it is it's it is going to be your number one manifesting technique. It's just getting strong. Getting strong with your mind, with your thoughts, with your imagination, with your stories, with your um words. So it's vital. So we've been talking about mental diet. It's basically a mental diet, but it's, it's just everything. So, <clears throat> so we talk about mental diet, we talk about self concept. We talk about um, creating the whole picture of your life. So I've been doing this for mm, I want to say probably a year I've been developing the story of my life. And it wasn't until just a few months ago that I realized just how powerful this story is and how focused I got on it. <laughs> so um, once I realized how much focus I needed to put on it and learning from Neville has sped up everything. So you know, learning about time, you know, learning about timelines, learning about, you know, more quantum physics, all that stuff that I, it made me realize just how my mental diet was not on point as much as I needed it to be. So that's why some of these manifestations have um, taken a few years when they don't have to, like it, when you're manifesting for a long time, there's something there. It's not divine timing. It's your timing. It's your thoughts. It's your mental diet. You're the God of your reality. <laughs> so what you, when you, when you start tapping into how powerful you are, oops, I got to get that volume back up. When you realize how powerful you are, because you have the God power, you are God, you are an extension of God, however you want to word that. When you realize how powerful that is, you start manifesting like a crazy person because you just know that you are powerful. So one of my favorite affirmations is I am powerful. I am powerful. It reminds me, it taps me back into that energy of being powerful and knowing that I get to have everything I want. So I created this story, um, maybe a year ago, I should look in my journals, but I had developed it over the past year. And so we're in the middle of March. Yeah. But the last two months, I got, I like <laughs> just quadrupled down on this story and affirmations around the story and just picturing and living within the story, living at the end of the story, right? Like Neville talks about living in the end and, you know, really f understanding what that is and feeling like it's done and that calmness about that just you know it's it takes a lot of practice and I've been doing this for a long time so it was like you know <laughs> some of these manifestations some things have come in for sure the last few years that have made me you know teach this stuff you know pretty well but now you know there was a bunch of things that still hadn't come in and I'm like okay so just keep, there's more to learn then so getting really dialed in with your thoughts, with, you know, the stories you create. So one of the big things of like, well, also not reacting to the 3D, that's vital. And that takes practice as well. So, um, so when something that you would perceive as not going in the direction you want it to go, then taking a neutral stance on it, like really controlling the emotions. And because the emotions, you know, thoughts follow emotions, emotions follow thoughts, however. And <laughs> so it's really important to try not to react. But to also jump into no, it's working out, everything's always working out for me, this is totally going to work out for me. You know, th things like that, because you have control of where things are going. So the 3d plays out in the negative that you, you are not trying to manifest, you get to turn it around, you get to steer the ship. You just you just have to keep steering the ship, you can't let it go. 
you know, you can't let it go. It's like steering the car. You can't let the <laughs> steering wheel go because the car is going to end up somewhere in the, like in a ditch. You have to keep steering the car in the direction of where you're headed. So like if you accidentally put the car in reverse, going the wrong way, you wouldn't just like, oh crap, my car is going the wrong way. Well, the car is going the wrong way because you put it in reverse, right? It's the same thing as something not going your way. It's because you had some negative thoughts about that, some negative story, some, you know, some belief somewhere in there that you didn't think that was going to work out. So guess what you get to do? You get to just put it in drive and go forward. And you do that with your thoughts. You create stories of like, oh, that's silly. It's absolutely working out in my favor. I totally know it's it's working out. Of course it is. That was just whatever. I don't even know what that was. You know, just play it off. And I know that can be difficult, but it takes practice. And once you realize that that's the way to go, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I need to do that more often. Make things mean the way that you want them to mean. You know, creating stories that are benefiting you, that are moving you in the right direction. So put the car in drive and steer the steering wheel. That's you as God creating your life. That's conscious creating. You know, creating by default is just getting in the car and be like, I don't know how to drive this thing. Let's just, whatever, let's put it in some gear and hope for the best. And I don't even think I'm going to steer it because... I, I don't think I need to. I don't know. You know, it's just, that's just not the way to live anymore. So when I tell you, you really need to get that mental diet under control, you really need to get that under control. So um, I think my next video, we're going to talk about, do you have to feel good to manifest? Because that's something that I was contemplating. I keep hearing the subject, do you have to feel good? And and I had questioned it for a while and uh, with it, within a certain subject. So we're going to dive into that in uh, Friday's video. So for now, make sure that all of your thoughts, like really taking good control of your mind. And I'll tell you, you are going to be the most emotionally mature, strong, stable person in your life. And let me tell you how that feels. That is the most incredible feeling. I mean, not the most, it is pretty great. <laughs> the most incredible feeling. There's probably a lot of those too, but um, it's incredible to be emotionally stable. If you know my story, I had 25-ish years of major depression, suicidal thoughts. D nothing was stable. I mean, I was a therapist, <laughs> but that's not a very stable career either. Not stable in a, it's stable, like you can always find a job, but it's not stable because it's a mess. It's a messy uh, field to be in. But, you know, it took me a long time to get there. But I struggled. It was a huge struggle. My life was a massive struggle. And now it's not. Now I'm happy about 98% of the time because I've learned how to control my thoughts. I'm not on medication. I was on medication when I was depressed for many of those years and it didn't help. And I kept increasing the dosage that was not helping. My situations were a mess. The relationship I was in was a mess, like a few of them. Like nothing was going right. So now looking at all of this, I'm like, now I really want to jump back into this and help, well, entrepreneurs, because I really relate to entrepreneurs, help them go from kind of that messy thinking life like I had and into the emotionally, mentally stable, let's say woman, because that's most of my following, who achieves every single thing she wants to achieve because she can, because her mind is stable. Her thoughts are stable. When your thoughts are stable, your manifesting is going to be on point. Like you can manifest so fast when you're stable. Because if you're, if you're, if your thoughts are all over the place, that creates a bumpy road. Like you create with your, so with your negative thinking, you're worrying, God, that's the worst thing you can do is worry. Because when you worry, you're thinking of things that could happen that you don't want to happen, right? So when you do that, you're creating 
you're creating circumstances in your life that now you have to overcome to get to where you want to be. So it becomes a bumpy road. So don't do that anymore. But I know that's easier said than done. So you have to do the work. So you have to do the mindset work. You have to be on top of your, on top of your thoughts and really, truly like be accountable to your thinking of like, oh gosh, yeah, I'm catching these thoughts. Yeah, I hear them. And that's where working with a coach is amazing because, you know, if we were on the phone, I can hear every single limiting thought. Like my husband can do that now. He's amazing. I think one day, possibly in the future, I don't know, because he's going to Vegas soon um, to play professional pool. So he's moving to Vegas soon to go do that. But maybe one day, like he would be a great coach for men. Like he does that to his own friends and they're just looking at him like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because he's coaching them because he's learning from me. Cause I learned, cause I coached him on how to be a better pool player. It's all the same stuff. Like you, once you know this stuff, you can coach them. You can coach anybody on anything. So that's why I want to, you know, I'm working with um, mostly female entrepreneurs who want to expand in every area of their life and absolutely create the dream life. Like no limits. Like what is the absolute dream? And like, let's push it. Let's push that dream even harder. Let's make it a bigger dream. Do you want to be a multimillionaire? Okay, let's do that. You know, it's, <laughs> there's no, there's no limits. So you know, teaching him how to play pool better. I don't play pool, guys. I don't. I, I quit a long time ago because I just, you know, he's going to teach me. I think he's going to teach me because I kind of want him to. We just have to find the time. But because it's mindset. It's it's just like the sports psychology, right? Same stuff. Same stuff. But it's even easier because, you know, all you do is intend. All you do is think you know, I'm winning this. I'm a winner. I've won this game already. It's done. Walk in. I'm like, I'm the winner. I don't know what you guys are doing here. I already won the game. <laughs> you know, like that's an inner, you know, that, that confidence in that inner confidence. Like you don't walk in, you can be that way. Cause I know somebody like that, like walking in with that, you know, that giant ego, you know, flashing around, but it's just an inner confidence that you win and that's through mindset and that's through paying attention, paying attention to your thoughts, your beliefs, your, the words that you say, the things that you say to other people, the things that you say in conversations all the time, the stories that you create, the assumptions you make, all of that, that all adds up. And that's, that's all of that. That's like the soup of your life. So if that soup is like the highest quality food, you know, the highest quality thoughts, beliefs, assumptions, stories, every single thing is working in your favor. It's, it's done. It's done. Like the soup is done. <laughs> your manifestation is done when you can get on top of that. So, you know, create the whole vision. So going back to what I was talking about originally, um, the story that I've created in my, in my life that I repeat daily, I think about from, you know, different aspects of it. I have it on a loop of an affirmation track that I created for myself. It's me talking to me about my whole life that I've created. I'm listening to that every night while I sleep. And you know what I'm doing? I'm watching it unfold. And I told, I talked about the, the tarot reading readings last week, I think it was how they're absolutely amazing try this as a manifesting technique because I'm hooked and it is so exciting and it speeds up my manifestations like you cannot believe. It gives me so much inspiration of like just complete just being excited that things are on their way. So what you do is you can go on YouTube and if you have any that show up, so your feed will be will be filled like if you watch tarot readings or if you just happen to start looking them up or something um, or just say I want to start seeing tarot readings like have an intention and then you know it, they'll show up so what you do is you watch a few and see what the story is <laughs> see what they're saying because that will be your current assumptions that will literally be how your life is right now because it'll just show up that way so so see where you're at now because I've talked about this in the other video about 
this one friend of mine, he sent me his and it was spot on for him. And he was just surprised. I wasn't surprised and it really, and it wasn't that big of a deal for me because it was just like, oh, you're tired and you need to take a rest and you work a lot. You know, that's the story of his life, right? Um, That I'm working on helping create a different story so he's not so busy. But, um, but mine, I told him like, you have, gosh, if you heard mine, you'd be like blown out of the water. Mine is all about like right now, it's all about there's two things. And the one thing I cannot talk about right now, but I will, it will be public soon. But one of them is manifesting a lottery win. I have watched numerous, like numerous dozens of readings of it's large amounts, like life changing amounts of money are coming in like now. And I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. I'm like, that's where my beliefs are. That's where my assumptions are. That's where, that's where I'm focused on. It's one of the areas I'm focused on. That is part of my story. That's, that's coming from the story that I created. Oh, I created it a few years ago, a few years ago, guys. Well, I mean, I've been wanting to win the lottery for years, but everything's telling me right now, like this month. You know, it's like, well, actually, you know, because some of them are coming back from a few months ago and they're just, you know, from like December, it's coming, it's coming every month. It's, it's, it's now. So now the more that I hear that, I'm just like, oh, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. And it's happening any minute now. But I'm hearing a bunch of aspects of my story. Like that's all my tarot readings are, or is listening to the story that I have created. And I'm like, so it's just parroting back right? It's just the universe or um, other people parroting back the story that I've created for myself. Try it. It is so fun. And the more you hear it, the stuff that you want, that you're manifesting, when you hear it, you're going to be like, oh my God, you're so right. (laughs) It's happening. You'll be so excited. But you know, right now, if you go and do it, you may not hear things you want to hear. They may not be that exciting, but change the story, create the entire story. And that's what I do with, with my entrepreneurs. It's creating the entire story. You know, of course, you know, making the business boom, you know, setting huge goals in the business to make a whole lot more money. But what else, you know, there's relationships, there's, you know, either improving a marriage, improving a relationship, um, creating a new one, you know, manifesting an SP like an actual SP, um, getting pregnant, whatever it is, creating, you know, multiple millions of dollars, winning the lottery, you know, whatever it is, creating the entire story and going really big with it. And then taking out all the limiting beliefs and replacing them with new affirmations, new stories, new um, assumptions, all of that. That's all it is. So, okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you want to work with me privately, I am creating a new package, I'm creating it right now. So you can reach out to me, grab the, the, the one month. I'm not going to offer the one month package anymore after like, as soon as I get my new package, it's going to be like a 12 month package because this does take some time because of the self-concept, the limiting beliefs, um, you know, the before and after type of stuff, it takes some time. So I'm looking at that 12 month package because I just know, I mean, it's taken me many, many years to get to this point. And I know I can condense that down drastically and to achieve, you know, nearly everything within a year. Definitely, definitely. So, but you can grab the one month, get started, and then we can go from there, but you can email me at heatherhopecoaching at gmail.com. Okay, guys, I will talk to you again on Friday. Bye-bye.